And smoke from wildfires is impacting Canadians in nearly every part of the country. And joining me now to talk more about that is Jed Kaplan, researcher with the Department of Earth, Energy and Environment at the University of Calgary. Jed, great to have you here. Thank you for being with us. Now, the effect of the wildfires is being felt throughout the prairies with heavy smoke covering parts uh, of Alberta. What makes this concerning? Well, the, of course, heavy smoke is uh, a cause of respiratory uh, irritation and, uh, and can exacerbate uh, people who have respiratory issues breathing. And so it does make, uh, it, does make it difficult for people to uh, go about their everyday lives when we're facing uh, heavy smoke. How bad is it this year? Is it worse than it's been in the past? I think that this year is going to go down as a fire season that was not as bad as last summer. If you remember the record fires of 2023 that started really early in the season in May and kind of burned right through until October, it was uh, it was pretty difficult for people across across Alberta and entire Western and even into Eastern Canada. Uh, we are still we do still see periodically uh, days with smoky skies because there are plenty of fires out there, although this isn't going to go down as being one of the record uh, smoky years, I don't think. What kinds of health hazards does this smoke pose? I, I mean, I know it can't be good for anybody. Is there any long term impact that we should be thinking about? Well, I do think that long-term exposure to smoke is something that, admittedly, I'm not a medical doctor and I'm not completely an expert in, in those issues, but I do think that uh, long-term exposure to smoke is something that can bring on respiratory illness in sensitive populations. It can also exacerbate the situation for people that already have um, sensitivity to polluted air. And uh, as I mentioned, it really curtails the activities of people who need to work or want to play outdoors, um, particularly when uh, when we have these smoky skies with um, lots of pollution and that makes it uh, hard to hard to just get uh, get your job done perhaps or to uh, recreate in the way that you would like to. What other hazards can this kind of smoke cause aside from the the obvious health hazards? Well, smoke smoke can also affect the weather and climate over the long run. So one of the things that we see with smoky skies is lower solar radiation. So we won't have as hot weather and there are places that have smoky skies than we might otherwise have just during, with clear skies. Smoke uh, also affects the um, nutrients or the distribution of nutrients in forests and other um, and agricultural land and so on. And so it's it does make a situation where we are seeing changes in ecosystems and changes in um, plant and animal populations that could be influenced by the by the effects of smoke. Is there anything being done to sort of mitigate the situation, make things better? Well, I do think we need to be obviously thinking about climate change and the role that humans are playing in uh, influencing global temperatures and regional temperatures, as we noticed over the last several years. Summertime and especially winter is getting warmer. It's lengthening our fire season and it's making our forests more vulnerable to fires because the Vegetation dries out much faster, as you explained just earlier in the segment. Vegetation dries out much faster under those hot conditions, and that's going to lead to these long-term big wildfires like what we've seen in Jasper that produce, and what we're seeing now in northern Saskatchewan and other places that are producing lots of smoke. And so avoiding the worst impacts of future climate change is going to be key for avoiding wildfires uh, that persist and the smoky skies that are produced by them. Just really quickly before we go, it, it looks a little hazy behind you where you are now. Is that smoke or is that just the way that the sun is is hitting? <laughs> actually, it's just a humid day today. We've had, I'm here in southeastern British Columbia where we actually have had smoky skies almost all summer long since the beginning of July when the big fires kicked off, you mentioned in Slocan and also here at the north end of Kootenai Lake. Fortunately, we've had just had two days of heavy rain and those that smoke is finally clearing out after almost a month. But uh, now we just have uh, humidity, just a bit of haze caused by the um, water evaporating off of the forests. 
All right. So that is our time. Jed, thank you very much for being here. We appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You as well. Jed Kaplan, researcher and professor at the Department of Earth, Energy and Environment at the University of Calgary.